morning to all you aesthetic athletes out there. Today is March 16th, 2017. That being said, today is going to be a workout. It's going to be an older workout that I did record with my good friend Vince. I just didn't get the chance to upload it and what I'm going to be doing is explaining as to why this workout when I was bulking is similar to what I'm doing now when I'm cutting. Uh, that being said, there's going to be big lifts. Two very big lifts. I don't know if I've uploaded them earlier, but they are big lifts. One for my chest dumbbell press and another for my tricep push downs. So that being said, I'll explain throughout the video uh, what's going on, what is my workout, um, the difference between my workout now and the workout when I was bulking. Uh, so you guys will see lots of strength and etc. You guys will see a lot in this. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, today we are starting it off with dumbbell uh, flat bench press. Doing a warm up set, then a heavy set, then two lighter sets. Now, I'm gonna be doing that for the majority of my workout, so it's gonna be roughly four to five sets. I do not include the, um, sorry, I do not include the warm-up sets as a set itself, so uh, it would be roughly three to four sets of actual working sets. That being said, I'm doing 110 pounds here. Guys, like I said earlier, you guys, you guys saw that I have a haircut, so this is not uh, what I recorded yesterday or this week. This was about, I, I'd say, two to three weeks ago, uh, more, more like two weeks ago. Uh, that being said, I did go really heavy for this workout. You guys will see here, this is my heaviest, this is my PR. Actually, no, I did do 115s, but I never done that in a while, so 110s was the best bet. Uh, that being said, you guys will see how many reps I do here. I try to go roughly six to eight. If I could do more, that's even better. Um, because I don't think going under six reps will kind of develop your muscle. Yes, you will build muscle still, but it's higher risk of injury and nobody needs an injury. That will keep you out of the gym for months on end. Uh, that being said, started off with chest flat, then we went on to incline seated press. Um, I always do three working sets for every exercise I do. Uh, now, after all that being said, uh, yes, it's going to be a little bit different when you're cutting than when you're bulking. When you're bulking, you're going to be lifting heavy. You can do lots of volume. Uh, when you're cutting, you do lots of volume too, but it's a different type of volume. So when I'm bulking and doing volume uh, and, and sets of 6 to 8 or 8 to 12, when I'm cutting, it's all the way to 15 to 20 reps per uh, Per exercise and as well when I'm cutting there's a lot more drop sets there's a lot more supersets so you're not only burning burning the fat but you're you're uh, activating the fast twitch fibers um, there's more and more towards that but really all these exercises I do here I do when I'm cutting as well I just include cardio at the end maybe a little bit more uh, abdominals because I am cutting down and I want my abdominals to show since I'm in men's physique um, but yeah you just Honestly, add on. It's like progressive overload. You're going to add on cardio almost every single week. Maybe you add on two minutes, three minutes. Maybe you add on a morning exercise or a morning cardio routine um, towards what you already do. Uh, you just add on, add on, add on so you don't get used to anything. The thing is, that's the problem. When you plateau, you got to realize you got to add on something. You got to do more than what you're doing because your body already adapted to whatever it is. So let's say I'm doing 110 pound dumbbells and I've gotten so strong that I can do it for 12 reps. Then you add on another five pounds on each side. So you do 115 reps. Um, so it's really, all this is is progressive overload, whether you're bulking or cutting, you're just gonna be adding on different things when you're bulking, adding on different things when you're cutting, but you're doing ultimately the exact same workouts you'd be doing when you're cutting and bulking. Maybe just a slightly different. So like I said earlier, um, I would just add on a lot more drop sets, meaning right after that set, I would do another set of lighter weight, just constantly burn that muscle, fatigue as much as I can. For instance, right now when I do like chest press, um, right after I'd say the third set or the last set, whatever the last set is, I would do push-ups right after and that would be till failure, meaning I'd roughly hit about 12 reps if I'm lucky. Um, and till failure means till failure guys, till you can't do no more, till your form starts messing up. Um, don't go to a failure and, and do shitty form. Um, you shouldn't be doing bad form. That can mess up not only your joints, but you won't be activating the muscle properly. You could injure yourself and many more reasons. Um, here, we are doing cable flies. Uh, you can see Vince here trying to target the lower chest first. And then we go out and we push and try to squeeze the chest. I do that now actually too as I'm cutting. Um, I'm trying to show Vince how to do it because this is his first time doing it. Uh, but that being said, it is a great exercise overall for finishing the chest. I always do finishing exercises 
when I know I'm about to finish hitting that muscle. So for instance, if I'm doing chest, a lot of heavy pressing movements is in the beginning. Towards the end, it kind of goes more to high reps, burning the muscle, getting all that oxygen towards it, blood towards the muscle to activate, activate every single fiber towards it. Uh, that being said, I always do chest first before triceps because uh, chest when you do chest it activates your triceps already so it kind of warms them up and has them ready to go for when you actually do hit triceps uh, I did not record my second or third exercise for triceps um, Because I just want to show you guys the big bulk as to what I do to put some size on my triceps This is the exercise I've been doing since I've been 15 and 14 years old at the gym and this exercise I put on a ton of size onto my triceps. I'm doing here 105 pounds tricep pushdowns. I did about 12 reps. Yes, form is a little sloppy. Um, yes, I could correct it. So, I mean, everyone out there, no matter how many years you've trained, you could always work on something. Even myself, training for about five years now. Uh, here we go. Vince is doing his set. Um, this one, we do a drop set after of, or sorry, a super set of tricep um tricep dips just on a flat bench but that being said i hope you guys enjoyed that workout see you guys in the next clip okay guys i know this is a little bit of a shorter video feel free to ask questions those questions will be answered whether it's in the comments or in the next video and next vlog um as to anything you know with my diet with um what i do at the gym i did explain a lot already as to what i do in the gym but uh, just feel free to ask questions, guys. I know there's not many people that follow me right now. And I know there's not that many people that follow me in general. But I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy not only just for you guys, but for myself. I like to look back and see what I did and know that I put the work in uh, to become successful when it comes to bodybuilding. When it comes to whatever it is I'm recording that day or whatever it is I'm doing. Uh, that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, the next video will be this Saturday. A progress video early in the morning hopefully hopefully I get it early in the morning if not it will be on that Saturday uh, that being said I hope you guys enjoy this one again I will see you guys in the next video please leave a like below come subscribe and get aesthetic bra